unfortunately it's probably the dirtiest topic we're going to do and as you can see with the water i made a little bit of a mess earlier this is a new coach um had it all hooked up fine so you know this this blue hose right here that um i have installed right now this is the hose that comes from winnebago industries great hose works well uh, will last you a long time you can see we have it hooked up um, directly to the utility center you've got your gray on one side and your black on the other um, we're also going to cover the waste tank flush which was a guest question that we had earlier great sewer hose works fine um, it'll stretch right out um, the only downside to it is if you think about this end to it unless you have a really good attachment point in your sewer center you do run the risk and i've seen it happen unfortunately too often winnebago uses three and a half inch pvc this thing will straighten out and if you don't have a good hold on it now you have a black tank sprayer so you obviously want to avoid that unless you're really trying to be cruel to somebody um, winnebago in some of their coaches they actually include this um, but this is an accessory that we do utilize um, pretty inexpensive um, it's thirty dollars this basically allows you to cap off your line but what it also allows you to do is turn a two-person dumping job into one and the reason for it is this very simply attaches here like this okay and you can close the knife valve that's located in this elbow you can keep it closed you can then pull the rip cord on the coach and this will straighten out and then only until you're ready do you actually release it and open up into the utility center so really the benefit to this elbow is it turns a two-person dumping job if you don't have a fixed end to it into a one-person job and as Resorts and campgrounds have undergone a lot of restoration in the last few years because the RV industry has grown so much. They've really increased the space with some of those concrete stanchions at dump centers, especially on over the road truck centers, uh, KOAs. There's a lot of distance in there because they're trying to preserve their facilities. And so if you need to go a long distance and you can't do it with one person, this is a pretty good tool right here to be able to turn that two person job into one. So again, that's the setup that actually comes from Winnebago. Some of the Winnebago coaches come with this, some of them do not. Uh, this particular coach comes with the hose only. Um, this is also probably our most popular um, sewer hose that we offer. You can just see how, how um, solid it is. It actually has epoxy fittings on each end. It rotates 360 degrees. It's kind of the Mac Daddy of sewer hoses, if there is such a thing. Um, stretches out to be 15 feet. So it can eliminate the need for a sewer hose extension. Um, each of these ends actually rotate 360 degrees so it's very easy to hook up it will still fit in a four inch bumper if you're utilizing that within your RV pretty inexpensive option they run about $45 um, kind of the nice thing about this if you're really really anal no pun intended about your sewer center you've got caps on each side so you can actually close that off and keep things clean so again, a nice way to keep things clean, tidy inside your utility center. So again, this is the uh, Rhino Flex. Uh, it's the sewer kit with the pre-attached fittings. And again, they're epoxied on and rotate 360 degrees. The other nice thing about this Rhino is you can actually see there's three different setups. So if you're in a utility center that has a larger inlet, you can go all the way to the end or all the way down to the, to the narrower ones. Okay, a couple questions. Uh, first off, oh, questions with, on sewer. With sewer, <laughs> um, we have a guest who has ordered a coach that has a dedicated storage location for the blue sewer hose from Winnebago. Yep, probably 24J. Right, wondering whether or not um, they can have a different sewer hose, if a different sewer hose will fit in that space. Yep, we can. Um, probably not this one though, um, because the inlet is specifically made for a hose like that. So you can see this one actually has the elbow on the end, which does come off, but this has a much wider flange on it that's a little bit more industrious. Okay, and then a question of how easy that adapter, the elbow adapter is, um, mm -hmm. to take on and off if they do have to put it into that dedicated storage spot where that doesn't fit. Oh, um, yeah, good, really good question. So if you, if you wanted to utilize this, but had a dedicated location for that, very simple to go on and off. It's probably something that you're not gonna wanna do because it's kind of a pain and kind of a dirty job, I hate to say it. Um, but very simply twist on, you can see how it's threaded and threads directly into the hose. So if you wanted to do that, absolutely you could. Eventually, long-term, you're probably gonna get some type of uh, a little needle hole in it, which obviously you don't wanna do in that area of your RV. Okay, 